So we're gonna take this and turn it into into this. So what we're working on today is this is a Deutz Alice 1918 Altima. So it has the Kohler Magnum 18 horse engine in it, two cylinder, Pose twin. Uh, it has rear wheel weights, calcium in all four wheels for weight, power steering. It's about 1985 or 86. I'm not 100% sure what year it is. Um, so we're gonna get it set up for winter duty. It's just finishing up. We took the deck off from summer duty, so we're gonna set it up for winter duty. So stay tuned. All right, so for this step, we're gonna take this shield off. There's a shield here that's held on by these brackets, which I already took off. Kind of getting ahead of myself. And then these clips here hold it in. So you take those off. Remove this shield. You're not going to use this shield for winter use. This is basically a guard because there's a pulley right here that's part of your PTO. For the front PTO and then also your, your deck PTO. So we're going to take that off. And that'll get stored for the winter. And then you got, this is the lift rod. You gotta push that through. Give it a little closer look here. You can see this hole right here. That's where you gotta run that through. And then it's actually gonna sit up this way. But we gotta link, hook it into the back first. Right here is where you're gonna put that. You're gonna slide that up in like that. So it's calling it's making a liar out of me. You gotta go from this side because this one doesn't have the notch in it to go that way. So unless it's on the plow. I'm gonna put the wrong pin. There we go. Alright, so once that's through, you take your cotter pin that's blending into the ground and hard to see. And I would, I put it up and downward so that way you don't risk it falling out and losing it while you're moving around. Alright, the next step is we're going to bring the plow in. Okay, we'll see in a second. Alright. Looking at the hitch, you're going to line up this pin here into this area here and then once that's in you also have to line this up to your lift rod It's still lined up, so whatever we. Well, I mean to get the pin and oh. you have to ro lower it back down, and you're gonna have to line that pin up to get it in. Okay. So once that's in, here, these. Okay. So the bolt goes through that. These flip up like that, and then the bolt goes through that. That's what does it. All right. So once you figure everything out and remember everything, remember what pin goes where. And then you mess up your tripod. So you slide your plow pins in right here. This one, the gentleman that I bought it from, he lost the pins that go here, so he put replaced it with these bolts. So if you look on this side, this right here flips upward, and then that bolt goes through it, and then the nut on the back side, like so. So you can see it better right here. So that comes up, and then the bolt goes through it. That keeps the plow from sliding in and out once it's connected. I made that mistake on mine, on my Massey Ferguson, where I forgot about those pins right there and I was trying to back drag and I kept pulling the plow out until I realized the pins were missing. All right, so the next step, we're gonna put the handle in, which turns the blade and unlocks the blade to turn it. So we're gonna go through the cab here
that end goes on down there. It's held in by that little hairpin. And then this bracket. It's folded on underneath here. Now again, I put, try to put the bolts from the inside out. So that way the nuts on the outside. This is what you're looking at this bolt goes through right here this bracket mounts on and it's actually bent pre-bent formed for this so it stays away from your hood and your side panel and everything like that and then your linkage your handle goes up through the cab that you can reach it from the inside so once the blades up you can actually turn the blade from the seat to angle it left or right so this is what it looks like from the inside so right here so when you raise it up it'll actually move in and out as you bring it up and down and then you can just grab it turn it and then adjust your blade your angle whichever position you desire it's a five position blade and you look up here you see the notches right here so it pulls this out and you can push or pull it to adjust it any one of these notches